If you're ready for your next motorhome, you really need to experience the world-class luxury of American Coach, now available at General RV. Hi, I'm Tom Bennett, your motorhome specialist. Part of what makes the American Coach product so, so much more valuable is their investment in the Liberty Bridge. While most brands are just using C-channel rails and essentially just building from the floor up, American Coach uses the Liberty Bridge along with Freightliner components to give the best riding vehicle on the market today. Part of what makes it so special is Freightliner's on-guard technology, which allows for adaptive cruise control and collision mitigation. You have the ZF independent front suspension that you have up here in the front, as well as the V-Ride rear axle here in the back with a steerable tag axle. At only 42 feet, this is one of the most nimble tag axle vehicles that's on the market today. Let's take a look inside. So the 42Q American Dream, this really has a very residential feel to it. So I'd like to start by showing you a few things up front here. As part of Freightliner's drive tech experience that they partner on the American Coach Liberty chassis, you've got a little bit of everything here. Freightliner's OptiView Digital Dash, which will have your collision mitigation and adaptive cruise control uh, features, as well as your tire pressure monitoring system. These two Excite panels right here show you your cameras on both sides in the rear, as well as navigation and control for your custom tuned audio. Um, the American Dream also has an air leveling system. Uh, most coaches in this category only have a hydraulic leveling, but to have a little bit of both is pretty nice. This cab also has a, a window you can roll down, but it's a very convenient thing to do. And one thing I didn't mention as we came through the door there is that that's an airlock door. So you flip a little switch over there and it will bring it in nice and tight so it can be quiet and peaceful on your way around the world. All right, let's have a look at the lounge. So going into the living room here, it's uh, very wide open, very spacious. You have your theater seating over here on the driver's side, whereas your passenger side has a pull-out bed that can sleep two more people. Also that televator is right across from the theater seating, so it's going to be a very comfortable place to be. And one thing I want to note here is there is no carpet in this RV anywhere. Most coaches have at least some carpet with the slides, but since you have hydraulic slide systems here, you get a perfectly flush floor so your tile can move from one part of the motorhome right to the next, and that's pretty nice. Um, I'd like to point out here that all of your tables and countertops, this is solid granite. Most RVs use a lighter, uh, more flexible Corian, but this granite is just more dense and better suited to last. Moving into the kitchen, the kitchen in this 42Q Dream really has a lot of counter space. I also want to point out how many cabinets we have here. They really go around the entire room. You have some upgraded appliances, even a little knock lock dishwasher. Pull out right there too. And even a fireplace. It's a pretty unique thing to have in a coach that's really only 42 feet long. As we move back, you can see you've got upgraded appliances in a black stainless steel. I think that really adds a good touch to it. Also, the way you have black stainless instead of a chrome piece here, it's gonna be something that uh, doesn't show nearly as much and how they've really matched all this in. It's, uh, they've done a very good job with it. Um, right here in the middle of the coach, we actually have our Firefly multiplex wiring panel. Here you can control every part of your motorhome from checking out where the electronics are, to bringing your shades up and down, um, to take your slides in and out. It's worth noting too that you have a mobile app that this connects to that you can control from anywhere in the world. You can be a thousand miles away and turn the AC up and down. And that's a really convenient way to, to do things here. Passing by our little half bath here, um, you can see it's a really nice size vanity for just being in a small half bath. As we move back, you can see you have some extra pantry space right here with really nice built-in wood pull-out drawers. So for a coach that would be considered small amongst its peers, it, uh, it's not really missing on anything that would allow for you to have a full-time experience with the RV. I'm right here in the back, you can see you have a ton of drawers. Part of what allows for all these drawers is the fact that you have a full closet in the back. This is usually an area that's taken up 
with hanging cabinet space and it gives you a livability that's just not as open as some can be. So behind your TV, you have a built-in space alongside some more nice little pieces here. This is a residential king-size bed with a built-in sleep number attachment for it with one control on each side. You also have um, wireless chargers as well as normal chargers built on both sides and plenty of space to get around right here. Uh, moving up into the bathroom, you have a very spacious shower. Well designed too, I like the, the circles we got going on down there. And then a very large vanity with storage on both sides. So a nice setup there. Some extra pull out drawers and space right here. Just above the toilet, you'll see that there's an exit door that falls down. So not only does it provide for a little space to set things down, but in the event of a fire, you can get out of here pretty quickly. And right on this side, you'll see we have a stackable washer dryer. I want to note that they actually put Samsung's in here. Most of them are going to go with a uh, flex steel or or maybe even a Whirlpool, but the Samsung's are definitely preferred. And then towards the back, you have a cedar lined closet that goes from end to end of the RV with some built in shelving on this side, as well as over here. So for a coach that would consi be considered very small at 42 feet, I think this has a livability or a full time livability that is unique to its size. Thank you for joining me for a first look at the American Dream, where you can live a life of luxury no matter where you go. To find out more about the American Dream, visit us at one of our family-owned supercenters nationwide or visit us at generalrv.com. Until next time, I'm Tom Bennett, motorhome specialist at General RV. See you down the road.